Why am I looking so plain today? Because today we're gonna be making some lipsticks. Hello there. So no, this is not another video of the $500 YSL thing, lipstick print or whatever they did. This is actually going to be a first impression slash review slash wear test of a very similar product that's not from YSL and was not $500. And it's actually the lips kit from GoPlay Cosmetics, which has very similar purpose. Yeah, so I decided to back this project on Kickstarter a couple months back and they had a lot of delays in their production as expected. I mean, it's a small brand. So it was kind of getting delayed here and there and I was a little bit worried that it's not gonna get shipped. But eventually they sent my package and this is what arrived. First, let's give them a word for appreciation for this beautiful compostable padded envelope, which is not padded with plastic but just with more paper, which I think is absolutely genius. And this is literally just how it was packed. It was in the envelope and that is it. Like this is the most, this is the most mess-free packaging I've ever seen and I love it. This is the packaging. I love this so much. This is so cute. <laughs> like, I think it looks beautiful. I was just very impressed with how aesthetically pleasing it looks. It looks fun but it doesn't look gimmicky, I really like it. Yeah, and also when I was buying add-ons for this purchase, I decided to pick up the purple tube. So I got one extra bullet with purple, which I can imagine could come in handy. So this is what the set looks like. I haven't, I have opened it yet, but I haven't used it yet. I was saving it for the camera. So let's do a little unboxing together. So you slide this up and here you have like a manual of the whole thing. So you do get these reusable jars. You just twist off the top and you have a little empty jar, which you can, wow! And it has a lip brush at the top. It's pretty small. So I think it's gonna be precise. It actually feels quite a nice quality. So we'll see how that works. You get five reusable jars. So let me just get these out of the way. And then the last thing left in the tube is, is our lips kit. It all feels very sturdy, very good quality, I would say. And this is the bottom that you twist off when you wanna, when you wanna actually use it. Here at the bottom, you can see the cartridges. It's also nice that it's kind of like padded, so, uh, you know, it doesn't start leaking everywhere, which is great. And then at the top, if you remove that, you can actually see the five cartridges you have. What I think is very interesting about this one is that you literally can mix any color. Because when I was checking out the YSL one, it seems to me like you just have some kind of color families and you cannot really, you cannot make a blue, I think. I don't know, maybe I should watch some review of that. This seems incredibly versatile to me, so I think it's a great idea. This is what the cartridges look like. There's the place where you get the color. This is like a little nozzle that goes into, into this like dispenser. And here in the middle, you get the color chart, which also great use of storage in my opinion. So I'm gonna close this. And in the lid, you actually have a QR code for the app so you can mix the colors based on the app. Let me check the color chart. You have the QR code for the app and here you actually have like a chart with quite a lot of lipstick colors, some fun ones very much. There are some purples, browns, nudes, pinks, mauves. This one looks a little bit more warm. This is like a nice green. It's kind of like manually based, but honestly, that's just like another step. Making something automated, a thing that requires time and it requires the right technology. But because this is not automated, you can use it anytime, anywhere because it cannot run out of battery or anything. So I'm not mad at this being like dependent on my manual labor. <laughs> it's not much of a labor, but you know what I mean. So I still think it's a great idea. I really like the idea of creating any shape because I have such a pet beef with like regular shades you can get in the drugstore or at Sephora or anywhere. I get bored so easily. And how many times have I just had a perfect color in my head and I couldn't get it? And I bought like six lipsticks that looked like it and were like it and yeah, I just uh, thought that this might be a great, a great tool to have and print my own lipsticks. So the default formula is matte. So it's supposed to like print matte liquid lipsticks, which is great. But what you also get in the set, or at least what I got in my Kickstarter set, 
are moisture drops. So you get 10 milliliters of these drops that transform the lipstick into a more hydrating finish, which is perfect because I'm way more into hydrating lipsticks now. So I think it's great that you can do such a modification to the formula. So let me open the drops so we can actually see how they look. Ooh, and it says, transform your lip colors from matte to moist to tint with just a few drops. So I guess you can like intensify the moisture in the lipstick to really create like just a wash of color. That's awesome. Okay, they come in this little dropper. It says that it's enriched with jojoba oil and a little goes a long way. That's a very good thing to know, I think. So we have the moisture drops. Okay, there we go. The formula is supposed to be waterproof, ultra long lasting, and it has tweaked texture. They have so many pictures on the website that shows the colors you can make with this and beautiful, just beautiful. I'm so impressed with the selection. It seems to be very good. You can, I think you can buy it at their website right now. Yes, you can purchase it on their website together with some other stuff they have. As I said, they have the purple bullet cartridge, which is what I purchased as an extra. They also have shimmer you can add into the formula if you want like a really glossy shimmery lipstick, which I think is great. You can also purchase some more reusable pots. I think I paid something around 70 Singapore dollars. I think that's how much it was and I honestly didn't think it's that bad because I spent so much money on lipsticks. I didn't feel like it's a bad investment. Also, I love the idea of it. It's really something I would come up with if I had the time and the money and, you know, the whole creative process in my head. I would absolutely go and make something like this. So what are we gonna try? I read a couple articles about stuff like this and one thing that never really crossed my mind, but every article like that always said, oh, you can use such device to dupe any lipstick you want. And I think that's genius because I had a favorite lipstick that I lost and I didn't want to buy it again because it was kind of expensive. It was a Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick and I loved it so, so much, but it's just gone. I never found it. I thought I left it in one of my purses and poof, it was just gone. So I think I want to recreate that one. So that's going to be my matte formula. Then I think I want to make like a perfect hydrating lipstick, like truly a beautiful nude neutral shade or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then I would like to try another one. Maybe, maybe we can do three. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's get to it. I'm so excited. What should we do? I don't even know. What should we do? Should I install the app? I think I should probably install the app. So maybe by registration, there's a quiz that you have to take to get your, what do they call it? It's like season. You tap here, find my colors. So first question is color of the veins as usual. I have something between blue and green, so I'm gonna say blue to green. Natural hair color in full sun. Hard to tell, this is like, I guess I'm not blonde anymore. This is more like a light brown, so I'm gonna say light brown. Eye color is blue and natural skin color. I would say more light than fair. I do tan quite okay, so I would say I'm more light. And apparently my color scheme is soft summer. Beautiful picture of Jennifer Aniston. Thank you very much. That's what I always dreamed of. Your soft, cool, almost neutral undertone means both cool and warm colors can work on you. That actually absolutely describes my face. So now you can retake the quiz if you don't like the result or if you feel like you screwed up something or you can reveal the palette. So we're gonna reveal the palette and this is what you get. A bunch of nice colors, which look completely different on the camera than they look on the on the screen. I think I'm just going to take a screenshot so I can show you better. And then you basically just click on a color to get the recipe for it. And then you can click it down into your lipstick device. First lipstick I want to do is my favorite liquid lipstick I ever owned, which I don't have at all because I lost it. And it was the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Deceased. And it is described as a mauve brown. I'm gonna give a picture of it here. It was so perfect. I love the color so much. And actually looking at these recipes, I feel like here in this area, we actually have quite a decent match. Oh, this is so cool. So you click on the color and it actually shows you down here what's the recipe. One thing I don't like is that they don't tell you which color you clicked on. So uh, if you, by mistake, tap on something, it's gonna be hard to go back. Yes, so we're gonna do this color right here. Okay, and there's a little heart at the bottom. So you can save it into your favorites. Next, we have to replace the bottom of the printer. So I'm going to unscrew this. I'm going to take one of my pots and put it on. 
and then pump each color refill the number of times indicated on the blend chart slow firm pumps watch the color drops collect in the bottom of the jar so we have three pumps of white okay it's not doing anything yet okay am i doing something wrong oh i can see it now it's like up here okay let me put it back yeah they, they need a minute to get started so let's go one two three how we're doing it we're doing it Okay, then I need one black, one red, and one yellow. Oh, there we go, one black. Then we're gonna do one red. Yeah, gonna need to get the air out. That's annoying, yeah. I'm really trying. Okay, we got one red. Okay, I think I'm gonna just start them in my hand because I feel like that works a little bit better. Okay, there we go. There's the yellow, and that is it. Once all the colors are dispensed, remove the jar, mix them up with the applicator, and you can add a drop of the moisture drops now to change the texture. Let me unscrew this. This is what we're looking at. I feel like we don't have enough of the red. Maybe, but we have three drops of white, one drop of black, one drop of yellow, and one drop of red. So, the brush. And let's just mix it up. It's getting a little bit more grayish. Mm -hmm. Looks like this. Yeah, there's red kind of stuck to the side of the thing. So maybe if I scoop it up a little bit. Okay, so let me just put the picture of the lipstick on the screen and this is what we got. Shall we? Shall we try it? Okay, so I'm just gonna take the brush and go straight in. I don't think I've ever used brush for my lip, so um, if this is very uneven, I'm very sorry. This is nothing like the color I wanted to do, because I think the red kind of uh, screwed us up, because there wasn't enough red, but this is a beautiful purple. It smells like a liquid lipstick, literally. It's kind of like that like slightly chemically smell. It's fine. I mean, I've got a lot of lipsticks that smell like that. Okay, so I cleaned off the brush and I'm gonna put it back. Let's see, I've had the lipstick on for like a couple minutes, I would say. So good. I love that it's just the exact same color. It's not like 100% opaque. I can see a little bit of my lip picking through right here at the top, but maybe I just didn't use enough. Overall though, it's very matte. It, it is, mm, this is gonna be maybe a little bit drying. It feels pretty lightweight on the lips. It's not like the most clumpy, sticky, thick lipstick I've ever worn, which, good, I like that. Transfer test, it's clear. The little line is just from the inner rim of my lip, otherwise there's nothing. I would compare it to the Sephora lip stains. So this is what I feel like they're kind of like. Okay, maybe just let me show you how I remove it. I just put a little bit of micellar water on this cotton round and Seems to be coming off quite nicely. Next, I really want to try the moisture formula. So, what are we gonna do? Okay, let's go back. Here you have Find Colors, which gives you a color wheel. You can choose from any of the palettes that are available. Yeah, so for example, the Spring Autumn one has a lot of oranges. If you look at the Summer and Winter, it's a lot of a little bit more into purples and blues and then like really reds and pinks and purples. You know what I don't have? A lipstick that will be hydrating and kind of like darker brown but warm. Eventually it would be cool if they had like a color dropper tool and you could just literally select any color ever. I have revealed the recipe and this time we're gonna use black, red, yellow and purple. Ooh, purple. We're gonna take one we don't need. We haven't used blue yet, so I'm going to replace blue with a purple. Yeah, it's getting a little messy, but I'm also 100% sure that it's just me. One black, one red, then we have three yellows. One, two, three, and then we have one purple. I'm gonna screw this back on now because I know that it can get messy. I'm going to get mixing again, so clean brush and this is what our mixture looks like it's pretty obvious though that the red is very thick the red seems to be a lot thicker than the other ones 
This is probably going to be more on the purple side because I added a little too much purple. This is what I mixed up. It's a... It's like a berry... Leaning a little bit more purple in person than it is on camera, but it's cute nonetheless. Okay, but we have one more thing to do, and that is add the moisture drops. So I'm going to unscrew this, and I think we're just gonna literally do like a one drop, and we'll see what it does to the formula. You know, maybe I actually want to add two, because I really don't want this to be like as vibrant, but the texture is certainly different. It's a lot more runny, and I'm gonna put it on my lips right now, because I need to see how it looks. For some reason, I'm very bad at putting it on. It seems a little bit more patchy than the purely matte formula. Now we're kind of at the consistency of like a usual creamy lipstick. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. It's um, not really what I wanted. I wanted a little bit more balmy, almost like a lip oil kind of thing. So I'm gonna try and add a little bit more of the moisture drops. Two more or three. I think the problem with this is that you cannot really shear it out, you know what I mean? So if I swatch it now... Yeah, it's still very pigmented, but it does feel a lot more moisturizing and I kind of like that. The moisture drops don't feel too oily and this is actually looking like a very nice shiny lipstick. I'm not like super sold on it. Oh, this is a mess. For sure, it's very pigmented. Even if you dilute it, and I did a lot, you can see running everywhere, it's still pretty pigmented. So, I mean, the thing about making a tint is a little bit of a stretch in my opinion because i don't think you can really make a tint with this you can probably make a more hydrating formula but it's still gonna be very pigmented okay let's go on the other side of the spectrum i feel like i went more purple and more like pinky with this um but i'm actually a great fan of brown lipsticks and like the perfect oranges and shades like that so maybe we should try and do something more like that i would like to try like a coral right now i'm looking at the spring and autumn palette and i was thinking something like this oh i'm so sorry i didn't see that earlier but if you look at the palettes you have four palettes but really you only have two these two palettes at the bottom are the extended ones for the purple yeah that's that's actually pretty cool this is gonna be the last one otherwise i'm gonna fill all my pots let's go and we're gonna go in with three pumps of white one two three then we're gonna do one pump of red one three pumps of yellow one two three and two pumps of purple one two the red is just so not liquid <laughs> i don't know why it looks very thick for some reason i love how it looks like before you get there it's just such a mush <laughs> doesn't look like the color I picked. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to experiment a little bit and I'm actually going to pump in a little bit more of yellow because I feel like this is way too pink. Let me just try it on again, I guess. I don't know how, but I did a perfect Barbie pink. No, mm-mm. That is not really the color I wanted mm -mm, at all. This was supposed to be like a... No, this was supposed to be like this. It's a cute color, don't get me wrong. It's not really a color you get to find so often, but it's really not the color I wanted. I want to finish on something like actually orange. Okay, you know what? This one doesn't have purple in it. And it looks like a beautiful brown. So let's try a brown. So I really want to see how this is gonna go. So we're gonna start off with two blacks, then we're gonna do one red, then we're gonna do six yellows. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. I just really want a nice brown, okay? Just let me have it. So this is looking... How is it looking purple again? What the fuck? They're all fine. I don't think I put in enough yellow. This is what we're looking at right now. It is more brown. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's brown. It's very neutral. It's kind of like taupe. 
This is the kind of color I'm, I was kind of hoping to see at the first try. This one is probably my favorite so far. I, I really like that one. We did four colors. So far, it really looks to me that it's not gonna be like a fair comparison to which ones you use the most. Because obviously I feel like black and white are gonna be used all the time. Probably yellow because I like a lot of browns and probably red. And the blue I haven't touched it yet today, so who knows. Also the purple I think it's a good addition, but it also feels to me that it's kind of swaying every shade towards purple. Now you're going to see me out in the field testing out the wear time of this lipstick and what it can actually withstand. So let's do a wear test. Hello there, welcome to the vlog portion of this video where I don't have any backdrop because I'm currently working and I'm way too lazy. I'm gonna pick up the last shade that I created, which was the brown. That's what we're looking at. Okay, it still has like a lipstick consistency. So I'm going to apply it and we're gonna start the wear test. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. I have just natural light coming out of my window and a little bit from my screen. The texture is very similar. It seems a little bit thinner to me than it was yesterday. I'm having some serious issues with the application. Like, the brush is just not doing it for me. I find it very difficult. But I think this is just something you have to get used to. It's not really fault of the brush. So, there it is. It's currently... 11.30 in the morning, so I'm probably going to eat my lunch with this, I'm probably going to just spend the majority of my day with this, and I'll just do a couple check-ins along the way and we will see how this lipstick actually lasts. It is a little bit patchy, mostly at this part. It's kind of hard to get an even application with a brush. Okay, so this is another check-in. I have a shitty natural light going on, but I ate my lunch and I drank quite a lot of water. And there is slight fading here at this part of my lip, let me just... Yeah, I think I could have rubbed it a little bit by accident, also I was eating, so... Honestly, if I was just like at work and this is what my lip would look like after lunch, I wouldn't really sweat it. Right now it bothers me because I have a mirror right here, so I can see myself the whole time. I think this is pretty decent. My lips are feeling a little bit dry, but they don't look very like wrinkly and super dried up yet, so... We will see how it looks in a couple more hours, I guess. Okay, so let's get up close and personal, shall we? We started at 11.30, now it's 15.30, so it's been four hours. I had two meals, about five large glasses of water, and I just wasn't really holding back at all. It's not looking that great. It is fading in patches, it's not fading overall. So you can see there's quite a lot of patchiness happening on my mouth. It's not even the inner rim of my lip is gone. Even the outer rim is not really it. At this point, I will probably take it off and just apply it again. But I'm probably not gonna do that because my mouth feels pretty dry at this point. So I would say we can call it a day here after four hours. And overall, if I were to assess this texture, I would say it didn't start feeling too heavy because it started disappearing. So you're not going to have like a super worn out thick layer of lipstick on your lips. However, if it was a color that would be a little bit more visible in comparison to my lip color, it would probably look a little bit patchy and very uneven. This kind of looks okay, but I'm not really happy with it. My lips started to feel dry about 30 minutes ago. I feel like this is not the worst lipstick wear test I've ever done. This certainly doesn't feel like a bad wear time. I mean, four hours with two meals, a lot of drinking, eating. It's not that bad, but I'm not like 100% certain it would be like the best if I needed something to, you know, wear really well. I tried to mix an uh, orange, so here are my five iterations of orange. None of them is orange. I started off with a recipe that was literally calling for just red and yellow. It was the bottom one on this side, so it was like hot pink. So I started adding yellow and I iterated over to this one at the top, and then I iterated more and I got this beautiful coral, which still is not orange. I mean... It's not the color I wanted at all, but it's a cute color. See? Like, that's my problem with the lips kit altogether. So here's the deal, okay? Everything you just saw was filmed about two weeks ago, and I couldn't make up my mind about what I actually want to say for the closing word of this video. So I was just kind of postponing it like an idiot, and now I'm just sitting here like... What do I do? So first of all, I love the idea, I like the execution. I think this is just enough big so you can 
you know, carry it with you if you really want to use it on the daily. It's quite practical in my opinion. And overall, I think the packaging and everything is very professional. The whole execution was very smooth. It was nicely delivered and everything. The recyclable packaging is great. There are a lot of pluses. The containers, I think, are smart. I honestly cannot really imagine any other type of container for like this kind of temporary liquid lipstick you're gonna make yourself. I don't have anything against that. I also quite appreciate that they added the purple cartridge. I like it. I liked it from the beginning. Now, let's see what's wrong with this. So after I was filming all of those mixing clips, I just couldn't let it go. I just really wanted to make like a coral orange lipstick. And I actually have the closest thing to an orange I have is this. And you don't even want to know how much yellow cartridge is in this pot. You know what, let me just show all the colors I have here. So we have this like nearly orange, <laughs> then I have this nice cool toned purple, which I actually really like. I think it's beautiful. It's like a dark purple brown. Then we have this shade, which is a little bit more on the pink side, I guess. Then we have this one, which is like pure purple. And then we have the last one, which is like a beautiful like forest gray green, which I was very happy with. Why do they all look so muted? If you look at those, they look very similar to each other, the bottles. They all have like similar tone. It's hard. It's really hard to mix something you want. I've been trying countless recipes from the app. I've been trying the extended and the non-extended version of those. I've been trying to mix my own lipsticks like from scratch. Honestly, it's really tough. One complication that I came across was that the yellow cartridge was getting stuck like all the time. So every time it would be like pump three, I would pump three. There was like a mount of roughly one that I would pump three more times still wasn't really it at some point i was kind of just like eyeballing the recipe if it's like ish i was properly cleaning the cartridges i was really making sure that i'm doing everything correctly i was even taking out the cartridges and just pumping them by themselves the dosage is a little bit complicated if you're not going for any weird colors like i wanted to make if you're not going for orange if you don't really have like one specific color in mind that you really want but you just kind of want like a lipstick in this sort of tone I think this is perfectly fine, but I really was dedicated to have an orange lipstick and I don't have it. Next thing we have, the moisture drops. This, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get the purpose of these. On the packaging, it said something like, uh, you can have like a shiny lipstick or you can go for like a light tint. That's a lie. Like really, this is not gonna dilute the color. The cartridges are incredibly pigmented and pretty much no matter how much of this I used, it still wasn't a tint, it was still full coverage, just a lot more slippery. So basically you were going for like a fully pigmented lip oil. It wasn't working for me the way I really like wanted it to work, so I really prefer the matte finish. I find the formula of the matte lipstick very comfortable, quite well wearing. I mean, it's kind of around like the average mark. Of course, they are transfer proof, they dry down completely, they don't dry out your lips that much, but they are fading, clearly. And I also find it quite hard to apply evenly with a brush, but I just think that's something that comes with practice. The color mixing itself, I mean, I figured why I'm having so many problems with the mixing colors. Easy, right? Black and white are pretty, like, straightforward. You cannot really have any surprises there, right? Yeah, black, white, those work perfectly fine. The blue, I didn't find, maybe I found, like, one recipe where I used the blue, but it's heavily underused. The red and the yellow is what it all comes down to. If you want to make a brown, you need yellow, you need red. You just need those two the most. After my little bit of a playing session, this is how low I got with both of these cartridges. So the yellow is like almost halfway down and the red is also pretty low because those are the ones that you're gonna use the most, of course. Now, the yellow especially is like necessary. Like maybe you should give like extra yellow cartridge for everything because yellow is everywhere. <laughs> and why it's not mixing the colors I want? Because this is not red. It took me a while to figure out and I'm almost embarrassed how long it took me. <laughs> but this is not red. I mean, on camera it does look more red than it is in real life. But in real life it's pretty much like a pink toned burgundy. So you cannot really act like it's a red when you're mixing the colors. Every time I looked up like a recipe, like color theory recipe on how to get a color and there was red, it wasn't working because this is not red. This is not like your basic red, which is fine, but it just fucks up your whole brain. <laughs> 
it just doesn't work the way you expect it and it's very annoying to me if you really like your reds and pinks and these shades it's gonna be perfectly fine like you're gonna be able to mix literally anything but for like browns and oranges and like kind of my color scheme it's lacking a little bit because you really cannot mix these shades well. The recipes, I must say, some of them are very good, some of them are not very accurate. Would I recommend this? Um, I mean, it's fun. I must say I had a great time mixing these lipsticks. I do think the product itself is good. So I'm just looking at the website and it looks like the whole kit, everything that I have except for the purple cartridge because that one I bought extra, it's $69. But if you were to like convert it into a lipstick, it would be around five-ish. You can get lipstick even cheaper. So it's like five to 10 lipsticks, I would say almost. It kind of has a great value in like the sustainability because if you buy like eight lipsticks in the drugstore, Chances are that they're probably not gonna be as good for you. You're gonna wear each of them like, what, 10 times? Maybe you're not really gonna use them all up. So really the value of this, it seems to be better because it's definitely more sustainable, you know? You make less product, you can wear it all you want, then you can make a new batch or you can make a different shade and you still have like a prepaid cost of these five to 10 lipsticks. So it does have a great value, I feel like, but I'm not really sure it's for everyone, let's just say. Yeah, if you're someone who feels like it's gonna save you some effort looking for the perfect lipstick in the drugstore, then maybe sure, it's a good choice. Is it necessary? No. Is it like a cool thing I can show off at work now because it's like a technical thing? Of course. I like it. I think it's a fun product. It's a fun idea. And you know, I love to support a small company with great ideas, which I think this definitely is. Yeah, did I have a good time? Yes. Do I regret spending my money on this? I wouldn't say entirely because I really had a great time and I love to support a good new technology, I guess. I definitely think there's potential in this. You could probably do this for eyeshadow. I would almost like to see this in a gloss form and we'll see what GoPlay Cosmetics comes up with next. So thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing. And if you want to see more videos where I test out makeup, you can check out the playlist. See ya!